And game number one of the quarterfinals between Deities of Death B and BRT is right now starting on the home map of Deities of Death, Barsh. So the first to have a look at at the bottom is Dot, who are spawning at the very bottom of the map. And well, right now we see that Shelty is already moving in into his starting hunt, going for the hunting dogs just as usual and having a pretty nice DC at the back that he shouldn't be needing to worry about at all. In the forefront he already sees some extra hippos so he knows this map is kinda okay and he doesn't need to scout all that much into the back, he just wants to make sure that he knows what's happening in there and he isn't surprised by some potential problems by maybe some underworld passage or whatnot by Metallo here. Briefcase also switching into Zeus or I actually think he was at the Zeus, but anyway, just continuing with going for this map and players already complaining about luck. Yeah, we did see some. Hopefully it will get better out with the game going a bit forward. Another player to have a look at is right now Fox, who is already being scouted by Metallo and having some nice obelisks at the back trying to see where his back gold is, which he knows, and also to see where the potentially... Uh, bad places for underworlds or whatnot from his opponents are. He already is discovering also a first relic, that's 5% human soldier pierce armor, which is pretty nice indeed and will be one to take with this pharaoh pretty soon. Right now he is <laughs> doing a pretty nice job luring the boar around, trying to prevent as much damage to his release as possible. He prevented at least half of damage, so that was a pretty good job and well worth it as the pharaoh of the name Nefarut and did his job quite properly. Otherwise in the forefront we see this TC is going to be quite important strategically wise because it's basically a third of either Fox or his opponent Metallo with this one being the other one but this is definitely going to be all that important because it will mean who controls it controls uh, this part of the map and way to his opponent. There's also a relic beside it for better hack and pierce damage Okay, pretty nice as well. And another relic here in the middle. That's for better villager hit points. And alright, if some Ate can get his hands on it, well, that's going to be quite helpful indeed. Another relic that's better cavalry hit points. Alright, that's not half bad, especially when we see it near uh, the Loki here. Although Loki, it would have been much better close to Thor. And maybe close to Zeus as well, as he will probably go for the Hippigons. And that's going to provide for some very nice raiding indeed. Seems to be going for a pretty standard echo. Three, three guys going more into the hunt here right now, these two. Yeah, into the forefront, so pretty much a standard build for the Zeus from Dots. And let's have a look at some other relic and other TC positions. Better hero speed, pretty great. Yeah, literally take your pick. Going to be useful for any Sith. And uh, TC on the left, which is third of either briefcase of Seattle, is pretty much absolutely the same as on the right side and also will be very strategically important for both teams to capture. Right now we are moving into the other team, that's BRTs, to see what how they are doing. You can already see that Seattle has moved into the hippos at the back with his second batch of villagers already going for a temple as a set which signals like 430 advance and some shifting sands quite probably on the Loki as usually that goes on the north the shifting sands shenanigans with all the animals and the pharaoh and priest. Shelte is right now preparing to advance at pretty much the same time so he will be very careful about what happens here but he is being scouted by Leonardo exactly for the purpose I was saying just uh, talking about just a moment earlier and well he is already <laughs> converging on him with all three oracles and yeah that's going to be the game plan here seattle just now getting a pretty cool relic myth unit food wood and gold cost and metallo is already also having a temple almost up so that should result in like five minute advance which should be okay and let's see what he will click in is it going to be hermes I kind of think so, that's kind of usual in Zeus in team games. Right now going for another extra release, so that's like 520 advance and going for some extra hunt at the back. And well, he seems to be having a reasonable distribution of release here. So yep, should be advancing right after this. Uh, the middle pocket for BRTs is right now Leonardo and he's actually going for Athena. So that's kind of interesting and might be going for some aggressive build. Well, 
we'll have to see how that happens how that goes and well leonardo in the middle is already through prometheus and that's pretty decent time for 30 and yeah as is seattle and this definitely seems like some super aggressive build Shifting sands happening on the left side, okay, so they are not happening on the north, but he is taking on his own player, forcing him off hunt, and with the shockwave here, that results in one dead wheelie, that will be second dead wheelie, and quite probably a third one as well, if he can micro properly, and yeah, those wheelies had some pretty bad pathing problems, and... Uh, oh, he got away. <laughs> he got away, so no luck for Seattle here, but better luck for a briefcase, who is 80% into Hermes. And well, just now, might be kind of disappointed that he didn't get slightly faster advance into the ceasefire, as it would have been a pretty good spot. Right now, Etri is trying to build some wall, because he knows he will need protection, and it seems like... Uh, Shelty is already moving into his base to protect him as well, because that definitely will be needed there. As this is pretty hard harassment, and do we see some towers being researched already? Uh, not yet, probably doesn't have the resources right now, but with the hero up and the harassers together with a relic, <laughs> that doesn't help right now, since it's not in any temple. Uh, but with this reinforcements, this is pretty much the end of the set shenanigans right there, and budget is to die as well. This though bought all the time Seattle needed to actually uh, make Shelty together with Briefcase pay, pay attention somewhere else and trying to capture uh, this TC and well Bob Fox at the same time is going for a TC himself and even though he was bolted that was on a Pharaoh I'm pretty sure looking at the a carcass here, yeah, it's probably going to be it. Uh, Metal is going to be sorely disappointed because he was hoping to secure this TC with some early aggression of hoplites together with archery range and that's seriously interesting that seems like a normal standard athena rush but on an eggy come on on isis well at this point i'm kind of thinking it's definitely going to go <laughs> back to bite you because this tc is captured and can metal master enough army to kill it easily and soon enough well this thing is not going to be useful because of the odysseus here and jason as well and well right now i'm not exactly sure if how this is going to develop because right now fox is going for armory so maybe hoping he can advance fast as well but he is having no barracks at all and with proper micro and being careful metallo can take the tc down and that would be a huge setback because he wouldn't be able to do anything about it at all right now he is depending on the help of his teammates sorry who have repelled all the attacks from seattle well all the attacks there wasn't really all that many of them and that means that a whole army from shelty and briefcase is moving in to help fox defend and at the same time leonardo is arriving at the scene and it's a pretty bad spot because <laughs> he wasn't expecting it and this mythical spawn could be exactly what fox needs to defend this tc together with his teammates pretty decent army though with metallo and we mustn't forget that he still has restoration and ceasefire is already gone, so restoration might be the one that actually wins the battle here next to the TC. And I think this battle is coming closer by the seconds here. So far though, they have to be careful. So we just have to look at the minimap and have a look somewhere else. It seems like Leonardo was trying to scout around to make sure he knows where all the wheelies are. So far... He's not really doing anything else, but well, Seattle right now recognizing that he needs to help his teammates, or rather, just metal off with a bit of army from Leonardo, as he needs to apply pressure on briefcase so that he must stay in his base and cannot help on the other side all along, or rather, any longer. And this though allows Dot Fox, together with the INAR here, to try and take down the military buildings, and metal is popped. But I would kind of hazard a guess that this is not a limit army, from my experience, that he might be missing some houses, possibly. It should be... Oh yeah, <laughs> he was missing a house, most definitely. And that was quite some missing army. And right now, when he's fixed this, he might be in a bit good position to go for an attack before Fox has enough army and before the tower is up. And he is right now converging with all his armies and, well... That's in a time where Shelty was retreating with everything, possibly thinking that he might be hoping to help his teammate on the left, and that was a pretty good idea, and here we have the restoration, and that's a good buy TC. He can't defend this against all those hoplites, and especially the extra army from Leonardo. So the second TC is not going to win anything for a fox. 
goodbye TC, goodbye everything here. As Blue will be just a tad too late and with not enough army here against anything like this. So right now I'm just looking at Fox, he's retreating with Willis that are being picked off by some Turmas, so that's a pretty good job by Leonardo. And is Fox trying to advance? So far he isn't, but it's, he seems to be converging on Prosperity at this point, sending a lot of Willis at this one uh, mining camp together with the Pharaoh. And well, yeah, the luck is kinda bad, though I don't think, I don't see who is it. It's probably some two players between themselves. And unfortunately, I don't know which. So yeah, players will have to somehow live through it or fix it somehow. Keys and yellow. Uh, Oris is actually saying that he should help and go on yellow. Not sure, but in any case, Fox is under pretty heavy attack. And that's really a pretty strong attack right there. And that's a lot of units and let's have a look at some spells that could help potentially. Well, they still have one shockwave. Healing spring for dots, that's not going to help really. But they are just going to rampage through everything because they are without any opposition and this is pretty strong army. And well, there is absolutely nothing that right now Fox can do about it. And if the third player Seattle maybe somehow arrives at the battle seal, he could just take it down without any problem. Right now it's full on attack on the TC and with those four Prometheans and the, uh, the Minotaur this could work out very well. This barracks is a pretty good idea because it stops some of those units on actually getting around the TC. But anyway, I don't really see how this TC could stand up under heavy losses, maybe. And well, this is not really enough army. Those stock swords are strong enough to actually put it in there. And well, this is this is a strong argument against the TC going down. This is a very strong argument and if it does go down, that's actually pretty very bad because Fox is right now 70% Neftis and the TC is at 400 hit points. That's very close to die dying. And let's have a look at the VDs here or other units. 11 Hoplites, 1 Minotaur, some uh, Prometheans. I kind of think it will go down. It will probably go down, so let's have it clicked and once we are out of this luck, let's see what's happening on the other side. Well, Seattle is pushing quite strongly on his opponent, having three TCs already and doing pretty well. So let's switch back in and TC is down. No ancestors for Fox and he's at zero TCs and deities of death B are <laughs> in an absolutely horrible position. So they took down the TC, which was the main goal and it was a boon that they don't know about the heroic age and well right now they just need to retreat and even if they lose all their armies i think this was definitely worth it as they did a whole ton of damage and they are slowing fox and basically putting him out of the game in some serious fashion here and flame weapons gone at 10 minutes for shelter in a defensive situation that's another pretty bad news for the deities of death beat well this is going to be just a sad battle for uh, Shelter because Red has retreated. He needs to go back with everything because he's been pretty brutally killed by Seattle, who is right now fighting three versus one DC. And also, uh, he can actually send units at some other battlefield. And right now, I would think he would be advancing into Heroic because he is in a pretty sweet spot. And he should be booming quite hard at this point. And he doesn't need to worry about anything. Just trying to secure the position, stealing opponent's gold, and doing pretty well indeed overall. Yeah, right now he's just trying to raid with some of his army in the middle here. He's trying to see what he can do. And well, briefcase abandoning his position on the left altogether and moving with all his army onto the right and try to see if he can help his teammates enough. Well, seeing how many hoplites we have here, 14 from Metallo, I don't really think that he wants to go at the back of there. Even though medium hippicons are pretty great with a proper micro, uh, Metallo should be able to kill those, but he needs to concentrate his efforts with Leonardo quite well to do lasting damage. Right now it seems like Shelter together with Briefcase should be able to defend his teammate Fox, their teammate Fox, but with Leonardo being at two TCs, the top limit situation is getting pretty bad for the ATs of death and they need to be yet again pretty careful. Very nice raiding on the gold willies here. And the Woody Willis as well for Seattle, so pretty good job. And at the same time, he is mounting an offensive on briefcase, forcing him to stay with some extra army at his home base so that he can help his teammates on the right fully. 
We see on the minimap that Leonardo has also went for a 30C himself and he is doing pretty well Le Seattle on the left and this battle, well it seemed to be pretty well going for the Ds of Death but that somehow turned around as without the flaming weapons Shelty's arm is not strong enough and not even the boars spawning from the Hersers is enough to do anything about it. Fox is finally joining in the fight as well trying to somehow push forward with the Migdol in here, but will it be enough? Potentially with the Ancestors it could be, and I think we will see Ancestor pretty soon. Because if he doesn't build the Migdol he is screwed again, and I think it would be well worth it, but it seems like a meta lot together with Leonardo are taking the respite and just waiting for the right moment to attack again. Just a lot of release everywhere, and Metal doesn't seem to be interested in TCs, but I think he is in a position where he should be. He has medium hoplites, uh, uh, where is some archer? Uh, medium toxos as well, not having any upgrades, of course, as a Zeus. And well, he better be careful, maybe take a TC, because he can't really fight here well enough with the army he has, and with proper micro fox together with the fire from the Migdol, should be good enough to take care of that. In the middle, Leonardo is fighting a very uneven battle for Shelty, 3 versus 1 TCs, and he is picking kinda weird battles. He doesn't really want to fight all that many mythical units here, <laughs> and he's getting wrecked pretty hard. Uh, yeah, right now finally realizing this is a pretty bad spot to fight, and he moves on to the right more to help his teammate Metallo, which is, I think, pretty much the correct choice. Seattle right now at 4 TCs already having stolen the front one from his opponent and building a Migdol and trying to make sure that his, his gold stays his and that through the heroic age he can uh, pester his opponent briefcase as well. The briefcase is already through into heroic as well. So only Leonardo and Metallo are not in and well they better be super careful here because right now Ah, uh, here we have the Ancestors being cast on their economy and Shelty is having a pretty bad game as he's having quite a lot of Echo Radiant on him which doesn't bode well for his late game if he gets there. So finally we have some offensive Ancestors from Fox who is trying to prevent Metal from building the TC who is at second because he has built the last one at the back but right now this is a pretty strong push and even with the help from Leonardo those Ancestors are exactly what he needs uh, I'm right now talking about Fox to make sure that Metal is slowed down and isn't taking the TC anytime soon. And right now it would be a pretty sweet spot for Fox actually to try to take this down and try to recapture it for himself. I think he might be attempting to do that right now. He's having a pretty good spot and well, his opponents are not doing all that well. Hmm. Okay, so it seems like Metallo is right now fighting just some of those ancestors here and maybe some heroic from you. I would kind of hope that you do because if you don't then that advantage that you gained at the start might be just passing and it seems like at this point Leonardo finally through heroic that the artist might be hoping that Seattle will be able to defeat the briefcase before he gets into mythic and becomes a problem as is mythical Zeus. At the same time Seattle is holding 40 CCs quite comfortably, this TC will be coming up and slight problems for Metallo are in place. Right now Shelty going for a second TC and third as well, so he is definitely moving into the game as he can. Briefcase will be at 2 pretty soon and well Seattle should kinda hurry up with his push. Quite a lot of mythical units but almost dead army from red, I'm not really liking that all much. But with all those piggies from Shelty in the place on left, yeah, this doesn't seem like Seattle should be in a position to push his opponents even further. Right now it's kind of an interesting situation because after the early fights you would guess that ATs of Death were pretty much dead but BRT somehow couldn't finish and ATs of Death defended quite well and right now they are very well back into the game. We'll be hoping to do something about the 40C Seattle and on the right side trying to push forward and Underworld Passage cast so that they surprise their opponents which is a pretty good idea. Uh -huh, the second is here and well this will allow Seattle to go for it pretty strongly but at the same time he needs to make sure that he can actually delete briefcase right there because if he doesn't this push is going to kill Metallo without any problem whatsoever not advancing into heroic at all 
and it's not like he can really successfully fight against elephants and whatnot with just classical H army. Yeah, pierce damage, armor, and also looking for briefcase, nothing. As is used, but well, this is a pretty strong battle at this point, and not even Leonardo can help him enough because his birdies are not useful against all those priests from Fox. And well, extra mercenaries here, not good news at all. Right now, I'm not sure what would be the best idea of taking down the Underworld Passage or fighting in the battle here. Well, not really sure, but let's see what's going to happen now. If I had to guess, I would guess that this DC will fall due to the sheer amount of the siege towers together with those two piggies and well, it'll be at some heavy losses. At this point it doesn't really seem so as this battle is going not all that well for the DRTs as briefcase is having a pretty decent army, especially those toxos are pretty strong here and the elephants from Fox are exactly the right unit to put Metallo in his place. Right now Leonardo needs to retreat and let's have a look at the left if Seattle is moving in fast enough. He is basically at the same position as on the right is Fox and whatnot and Leonardo right now is switching into Mythic Age pretty fast and he's the first one at this point. So battle going on pretty well, briefcase or rather shell they have in a market so he should probably be advancing into Mythic as well. Yeah, through hell and Seattle as through Toth, so that's going to be ah, uh, yeah, right here. This should mean the end of this underworld passage, which is a problem for the ATs of death. Yeah, so goodbye, and probably an end of the TC as well. One hit on the left, and goodbye. One hit, one hit, ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> There it went and it wasn't even needed, as these the siege towers took care of it quite properly. Uh, Metallo doesn't have a bolt anymore, so it will be just up to some priests to take care of this. Some upgrades, no nothing, but on the right side how's it looking? Well, kinda stalled, because Leonardo is doing damn well in defending. I don't really see any armor from, army from Metallo at all, just Odysseus here hiding. And well, he did advance into Heroic Cage somehow. But that's pretty much it for him. He needs to take it right now slowly and recuperate and let Leonardo defend him as much as he can. Even though that's not going to be easy with the Migdol here from Fox. That's a pretty good idea. And with the huge range of the chariots. Well, he should be holding this position for quite some time. Really, right now it seems like the most important battle is happening on the left side. Where basically Seattle is doing the same strategy as Fox. Trying to occupy his opponent's base. And well... And the last unit that is somehow holding the Ates of Death in the battle here is the Nidhogg, I would say. Once he is down, yeah, unfortunate for Seattle as he won't be finishing the Migdol. Oh, he did! <laughs> he did, it was almost up, so it was a dead too late for the Ates of Death to concentrate on it. And this mercenary is making an appearance, which means that the trade for Seattle is pretty heavy and very healthy at the same time. This is pretty bad news as this Migdol will prevent from this TC from coming up from the Ates of Death and quite possibly will be going for Seattle as a fifth, which would be pretty heavy and having all those buildings here, yeah, he's in a pretty sweet spot and fighting with fire giants and boars against Negi when he can build a lot of priests is not really the position he wants to be in. On the right side, Fox is still basically just holding position as he's not building all that many elephants. He's basically just trying to make sure that the TC isn't coming up uh, as is Seattle on the left side. And he is basically really just defending with the chariot arches and not doing anything. He maybe doesn't even have pop for the extra elephants. Yeah, you can see he's popped at this point. And well, he doesn't have a TC in the middle which somehow uh, has been lost. Uh, sorry, I haven't seen that and it's... Oh, oh, it's because of this. It's because of very cleverly cast Tartarian Gate that destroyed this TC. And I'm not exactly sure if Fox is even aware of it. I think his all attention is consumed in the middle here. And he might not even know what is happening at the back. Right now he is in a pretty bad spot. As uh, Shelty is not helping him. He is fully helping on the left. And this is time for Leonardo to go into beast mode. Trying to secure and steal a TC from his opponent and once he's at 4, he will be able to fully help his opponent, or rather his ally, Metallo, who has jumped into the Mythic and is reclaiming his base DC himself. So right now, uh, with 
Sheldy switching into the left, it seems like Fox doesn't have enough push and enough economy and whatnot to secure the right side and he is losing the position and he is in a very serious risk of losing this TC as well. Nidok has been finally killed on the left even though uh, the Migdol is gone as well and well this seems like more or less a kind of stall situation and which is definitely in BRT's favor because that's just Seattle at 40 CS fighting against 40 CS of Shelty in a briefcase. Right now Shelty is the most important player of them all because he is the one who makes difference either on the left or on the right. Let's have a look at some of his upgrades. And he doesn't have any because he has been strained all along. And deities of death B recognize that the game is not theirs for the taking anymore and they resign and BRT's lead 1-0. Well that was one hell of a game. That was one hell of a game from the very beginning of, and the very daring Athena Rush <laughs> from Metallo. <laughs> and he just owned Fox. He just owned Fox there and surprised him all together. And not even the allies, Shelty and a briefcase, could stop the attack from Leonardo and Metallo on the right side. And that allowed Seattle to do all he wanted and anything he wanted on the left. And well, he did. He also went for some extra shenanigans in the middle here that we couldn't have seen earlier and <laughs> he was all over the place again <laughs> with some dogs at the back trying to make sure that this TC is not coming up or rather staying up and well, pretty good job. So let's have a look at the post game and CL as the MVP. Well, yeah, he had kind of an easier game I have to say. He did, uh, he did have pretty strong echo as booming as the first player. Military count pretty great, not really cool units killed, and Fox having the quite the opposite here. That was pretty nice. And research is passed for Seattle, Leonardo, and Metallo. Good job. Pretty good job indeed. Yeah, not, not really enough resources at the end. Everybody is pretty much strained, which is also the reason why the of Death just knew that they can't come back. GG then.